Wonderful folks, welcome to another episode of Behind the Brew. And for those who don't know what this is, this is T by Daniel's mini podcast where we bring amazing customers, friends, followers, and fans like our lovely, adorable Andrea that we have here today. And we're going to get to know Andrea and you're going to get to know Andrea and see some of the amazing customers um, that just made our world so magical. Welcome to the show, Andrea. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I'm doing great. There is sunshine outside and there's a cup of tea waiting for me. So (laughs) love that. I love that. There's something you'll notice about our customers is they always smile big. They're very happy people and they drink tea, which is always a good thing. Uh, Andrea, to start this conversation off, how would you introduce yourself to the world, to, to our tea community? Tell us who you are, um, but try not to tell us what you do. Tell us who you are, but not what you do, so that we can really get to the core of Andrea. Uh, I would say that uh, the lifelong learner in me has always had opportunities and challenges, um, but I would say that I am this bubbly person that really just loves to connect with others, and so that's what I do best. Love it. Love it. Bubbly. Where did this bubbliness come from? Is this something you've always been as a child? Did it change as you started to grow? Where did it come from? Oh, heck no. I I think um, when you're often um, spending time alone, you're, you're kind of like, okay, how do I make myself stand out? What do I do to kind of um, show my personality in the best way and so this is my way of connecting with others I'm like always positive and often get told that I am an inspiration which is kind of weird um, but as a person with a disability I feel as though it's one of those things that you've just got to have a pep in your step and and so that's kind of where that comes from for me is showing that Anybody with any kind of abilities can do what um, they dream. This, oh my gosh, you need to be on stage with me one day and just share that message. It's so filled with hope and optimism. Um, and you know, you you highlight that maybe there's some challenges that you go through or that people go through if they have like a you know a disability, something that might you know make things a little bit more like of an obstacle, but it seems like you've chosen just a different attitude. Um, What do you think is, you know, and it's not that this uh, conversation is going to be all about this, but when it comes to people's attitude, what do you think kind of holds back that positive forward looking attitude? Like what, what is something we have to look out for? I think there's always going to be things that we can be down about and challenged with. And so having joy in the little moments, whether that is having a conversation like this or um, spending time with those you care about or whatever that may look like, what does that look like for you? And how can you make a difference? Um, Because at the end of the day, um, we're not just individual people. We're part of a bigger um, meaning. Oh, it's poetic. It's poetic. I love it. You said um, joy, you know, um, just celebrating those little joys. In many ways, our customers have told us in the past that Tea by Daniel meant that that was the place for them yes. to find joy, having a cup of tea, meeting up with friends. So I want to go to what I call the memory teacup um, and ask yes. if you could fill a teacup with items to represent your favorite memories at Tea by Daniel, um, what would you choose? And tell us why. Ooh, the farmer's market outfits. Those were iconic. You dressing up and, and handing out tea was a lot of fun. And that's how I got introduced to Tea by Daniel. And then um, slowly, um, I would say the biggest thing is, you know, the bow ties. I was really excited about those. Um, and um, one of the biggest things was, you know, the twirls that you did uh, at the beginning uh, for a new customer or whoever. So when I brought my family, that's like the biggest thing that they were like, this is amazing. 
Um, so that, and then one more, because I couldn't narrow it down to three, <laughs> is um, the cups themselves. So the iconic cup, if you know, you know, there yes. is a <laughs> little bow tie and it's yeah. cute. And you guys used to write on on them. So that, that made my day. It, it was a place where I wanted to bring everyone. And I think community isn't where you are specifically but with who you are and mm -hmm. what you're what you're doing and what that looks like so i think t by daniel really brought that back into perspective for me and just sparked a joy for tea again um because we we love our coffee <laughs> but there's something about sitting down with a cup of tea and enjoying conversation and having connection Oh, I love you literally just you highlighted that so well because you took me down memory lane and I could see, uh, you know, when you come in with your grandma and your mom, uh, yes. you introduce new people and we would all, you know, get down, do the whole dance. And, you know, I think it was just as enjoyable for us on the other side of the counter to see this expectation in your eyes. You would open the door and it's like, what's going to happen? This surprise. And I think that's something that we miss and it really, uh, you know, impacted us as well. Um, going on to another question. Yes. If you could see a T by Daniel today. So the world has changed so much. People are yes. changing. The times are changing. But what would the perfect T by Daniel store look like for you today? Where would it be? How would it be? What would be in it? Would it sell coffee? Like, I'd love to know if you could dream with me for a second. What would that look like today? Um, I think I really enjoy the idea of being able to connect with others. So maybe a mobile way of being mm -hmm. able to do either pop-ups or, or not a food truck per se, but the concept itself. Because I think when you're stuck in a certain location, there's only a certain amount of people that can come to that specific location. So I think that the T by Daniel Joy can really be taken out of the context of a physical space and more towards what is that looking like for us creating experiences. So um, I remember having, you know, that um, that lunch at the end right before we closed off and that was incredible mm -hmm. is being able to connect with people yes we are all coming to the same place um for our love of tea by daniel and the tea itself but we're also coming and supporting um you and verdada and the team itself so i think just having a way to spread that and put the love of travel that you both have mm -hmm. into what that looks like. Obviously, don't go work in the business too hard. Yeah. But I think um, the people are what brings, you know, the joy into mm -hmm. bringing people into the door, whether it's the lion shy or having, um, you know, um, fuzzy peaches or, or all the others that we can think of, uh, you know, um, when it comes to tea and having that experience. Um, I wouldn't necessarily maybe expand outside of iced teas and, and maybe frappes um, mm -hmm. just because that's what you do best. And mm -hmm. I think going outside of that realm may not be your best choice, but that's just showing like having little things that you could have with tea would be nice. Mm -hmm. um, so pastries or, or things like that. But I wouldn't necessarily start offering coffee um, unless you're really into that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, this is this is where we learn. And I, you perfectly highlighted just what that experience could look like because you said, take the joy of Tea by Daniel and that could move. And I think the event that you were talking about was uh, with the partnership with Copper Branch. Is yes. it where, yeah, where we did that bespoke uh, high tea. We had lunch, people were there. It was just connection. And, and you're so right. It's the joy that I think people, they love and they want more of. And that could go anywhere. We just got to find a way to make it a business that's sustainable. And, and I will definitely take notes on, you know, some additions and pastries and things like that. I love that. What was your favorite tea, by the way? Was it the lion chai or? 
the lion chai, I probably have to say uh, that was huge for me. And that's kind of what drew me in. But I think a lot of the fruitier teas that we've loved, those are just my two go-tos. So I think I, I've kind of tried a little bit of everything, um, but also know that even some of the original, uh, you know, uh, black teas, they're mm -hmm. also really great for a different season, right? So yes, they were seasonal. We changed them up. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, I wish I could talk to you all day, but I'm going to hit one last question and get your, your, um, hear your response on this one. This one I like to call personal tea blend. And I want you to dream for a second. If you were to create a tea blend that represents your life's recent journey, so let's say the last five years of your life, uh, what ingredients would you pick? What would they represent? Um, and what would you name that brand or that blend of tea? Sorry. Okay. Uh, so I have a name. Nice. I think I have a name. <laughs> Resilience. Resilient Sunrise. Um to kind of I really showcase um, what uh, challenges I face every day. Mm -hmm. And also just knowing that every day is a new day. And so the sunrise kind of um, brings that in. I would have papaya because that is my favorite fruit. Maybe some hibiscus, maybe mango. We're thinking, you know, rose petals maybe. We'll see. But <laughs> hey, uh, just something sweet, but also has a little bit of a kick because mm -hmm. I think the resilience part is really important to realize that there's going to be challenges, whether it comes to business, life, um, or anything else that you kind of deal with, right? So I think I really like that. I don't know. I like it too. Resilient sunrise? Is that what you call it? Resilient sunrise? Yes. I yes. love it. The meaning behind that, I got to say, Andrea, like, we got to know you through, you know, T by Daniel, you're a beautiful customer. We got to know your family. Um, and I see your content that you put out there with uplifting messages, but talking to you is so inspiring and so uplifting. Like you're full of positivity, which is such Thank a beautiful you. trait. So please never lose that, never lose that resilience and that papaya sweetness. Um, it's yes. so beautiful. And maybe one day we'll make it for you. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Hey, what you do, hey. right? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You got it. You got it. If any final um, thoughts that you want to share with the world, uh, Andrea's message to take us out before we uh, close off this uh, podcast. Oh, that, that that's a tough one. Um, I'd say um, always start your day with a smile. Um, you, you don't know what the day holds, um, but just as you know, my experience with T by Daniel, there's always joy to be found in every day. Love it. Love it. Thank you for making me smile. And I'm sure our tea community will be smiling when they listen to this interview. Thank you so much for your time, Andrea. Thank you. All right. Today and tomorrow begin with tea.